Hello everybody. Um, I haven't made a um, video for YouTube for quite some time. I've actually got around to making a couple of videos and just never uploaded them and they got old. So here I am trying again to do a video of what I've been doing with my Nintendo DS. Now on the last videos that I actually made I was telling you what I'd um, brought over the winter and what I've been playing. So if I just do that again. I want to recommend this game to you, this is Time Hollow. I don't know if anyone else has played it, I'd love to hear if anybody has. Okay, Fantastic game. I, I love the graphics inside the game, it's similar to what they've got in here. Okay, Basically what happens is you get this pen and you can draw circles and go into the past and change things and then when it goes back it shows you by you done this, um, how it changes the future. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. I completed this game in three days. I just could not put it down. I think, I do apologise if I'm wrong, I would say there's probably about 10 hours gameplay in this, I would have thought. And I paid something like £3.50 for this game on eBay. I highly recommend this. If you can find this game, if you see it on eBay, then definitely snap it up. I don't think they're making this game anymore. This is a brilliant game. I highly recommend it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I don't normally buy games over the winter. Well, this one I actually bought for myself last summer. <laughs> and I, did, I didn't go into playing it. This game is called Hotel Dusk. And a lot of you know this game. And I picked this up because everyone was raving about this game. Um, I must admit, I haven't completed it. I have no idea how far I got through it. But on one point when you walk down the stairs, the bloke says to you, um, if you've got anything in your bag that I shouldn't see, you know, you'll be thrown out and stuff. I got past that and I save my game every time and for some reason it keeps taking me back to that point and I found other parts in the game where I swear I saved it and I come and open it and it's not saved and that is just really getting on my nerves um, I have, at the moment I have no desire to finish this up I'm not really enjoying it that much although I'm curious to know the end of the story the story is quite good in it but I don't know at the moment, I'd give it a 5 out of 10, that one. The Time Hollow game, I would give an 8 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed that more. The one game that I did purchase for myself new, which is, I don't normally do that, I must admit, is um, Plants vs Zombies. Now, when I purchased this in the winter, I think I got this January time. It wasn't actually released in the UK. It comes with this lovely slip cover, my version. So mine's a US version, Plants vs Zombies. I love this game. I picked it up because I love Peggle. And this is just as good. And it's one of those games that's a pick, what I call a pick you up and play, and you don't need to play every day. You know, when you feel like it, you pick it up, you know exactly where you are. The only thing is, if you don't play this game for a while, you forget what all the different little plants do in it. Each plant has different abilities to help you um, stop the zombies getting to your house, basically. But there is a little... Um, book that you can click on and it tells you what each of the plants does but obviously if you're playing it every day um, you remember it and you, I think you know it flows better but it is a fantastic game I definitely give that a 10 out of 10 highly recommend it okay plants versus zombies now the reason I'm making this video is I'm thoroughly thoroughly excited I just arrived back from England because I live in Turkey, but I'm English. Um, I arrived back from England today at uh, half past two, my time, Turkey time. And while I was in England, I went mad picking up Nintendo DS games for myself. I was so thoroughly happy to go do that because it's uh, very difficult for me to get Nintendo DS games over here. Well, originals anyway. So, and that's what we want, isn't it? Now. The only game I brought for myself in the Nintendo DS, um, full price, was this one, and it is 
Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I love the Lego film games. And this is no exception. I haven't played because I've only just got home. I haven't played much of this game. I think I've done the first level and I liked, really, really liked it. If the rest of the game carries on like that, this is a brilliant Lego game. I think they gave it 76 or 79 percent the Nintendo magazine gave it. But for me this is lovely because like I said before I love the Lego games. I love it that you don't die and have to go back because I don't have time to go back on games really. Really lovely nice game by the first level anyway and I thoroughly thoroughly look forward to playing some more of this game. I think I paid £25 for that one and I also picked up this one, which I really wish I had for Harry Potter and I don't think they make it. If anybody else knows anything different, please let me know. This is the walkthrough for a Pirates of the Caribbean. At the first half, I think probably that first bit there is for the Xbox and the Nintendo Wii. That bit. And then over here is the um, console section. Now, okay, the Lego games are not tricky, but finding all the items that you need and opening all the characters can be tricky and they've labelled all the characters and how to open them so I'm really really pleased with that really and the artwork in the book is lovely just to look at fantastic my dad said but I love my strategy guide so I also picked up now all of these were on special offer or were pre-owned and as you can see from the front of this I bought this from a shop called Game in the UK Dragon Quest Monster Joker. I've seen this in one shop for £15 pre-owned and I went in another shop and I found it for £5 and I thought, wow, I'm so going to try this. Now, I have, I've played about 20 minutes of this game and I, from what I can gather you have to go and get monsters and you use them to fight in a challenge or something. And so far, so good, I'm liking it. Okay, it's an older game, but I've got a little Dracky or something bat and he looks very cute so I think for five pound I just cannot go wrong you know if I don't like it I'll set it on eBay and probably get my money back but for five pound it's worth a shot. Another pre-owned game that I got from um, a supermarket called Asda and if you can see you can see this is house ten pound and I actually had a go at this on the aeroplane coming home today and there was a couple of bits that I had to do like taking blood I just I had a hard job to get the thing to move I'm going like this with the stylus and it wouldn't move um and I I have read that this had bad reviews but when I seen it was £10 I thought I'm going to give this a try because I like house and so far I can't see no major problem with it okay there's it wasn't very receptive whether it's me could be me doing something wrong. Other ones are fine, they move no problem at all and I'm doing a case at the moment to diagnose this bloke that looks like he's been bitten by a snake or something and I'm liking it. Now whether that you'll get different things to do throughout the game I have no idea but at the moment, again I can't give you a out of ten because I just have not played enough of it but yeah I like it. Pretty cool for ten pounds. Another game that I was thoroughly pleased to be able to pick up for this price. I could not believe it. I went into the shop and I actually left it there and can you believe it was still there? And that is Golden Sun Dark Dawn and this has been recommended by a lot of people. Collect more than 70 digin, is that how you call it? My gosh, it's a bit to get your head around this psych energy and stuff but oh my gosh this is a great game. I've played about half an hour of this game again just to try it out. Wow! I like it, it's great. And this was going on eBay for about £20. I thought, my gosh, I'm going to go pick it up and give it a go. Brilliant! What a lovely RPG this is. Really nice. So, if it carries on like this, this will certainly be getting a high mark. I may well do when I do another video, go through and tell you how much points I give these. So. And this was a good pickup. Now, I've actually had the first one and I sold it. It was a cute game but I kept getting stuck on the puzzles. I could have looked on the internet I admit but I thought okay she is popular let's give her one more chance. The Legend of Zelda. This is Spirit Tracks and for £10 from £22 what a buy. I should have thought pre-owned this would be more. So I've decided I'm going to give this game another chance. 
I will not sell it until I've played at least an hour of this game. Really give her a chance, Zelda. So I was really pleased to find that for ten pound. And um, I also picked up some. I think it's some like Spurge Hive or something for eight pound for my dad for his birthday. So she's going to get that to my birthday. So hopefully he can let me know. I also got these little pin badges, free with the Nintendo magazine, which I thought was pretty cool. And I can also say I am now really, really treating myself when I'm on holiday. I had some money left over. I'm now the proud owner of a Nintendo 3DS in a lovely aqua blue colour. I could have had the black on special offer. So I decided I bought this second hand, this one. And it's in lovely condition. It just needs a little bit of a clean up. Again, I only bought this yesterday. So I haven't had much time to play with it. I absolutely love the colour. Whoa, what a funky colour that is, isn't it? And um, I bought, while I was in England, the games were, I haven't even tried the AR uh, card yet, so. The games were actually £20, can you believe, and £35. And I was expecting, to, if I did pick up this console, just to get the one game, because they're so manically expensive. And I thought, wow, £20. I got Pilot Wings Resort, and I've had a little try of that game, and I think it's going to be fantastic. I, it just is really quirky and lovely and I need to tell my husband that I bought this he doesn't know yet I think he's going to get mad and I bought Nintendogs I actually tried Nintendogs on the DS I wasn't all that gone on it but this looks very very cute this one and inside the case you've got the little doggy faces inside there because they've actually done the 3DS cases different for um, recycling purposes or something, they're not using so much plastic, so putting holes in and stuff. So there's the 3DS. Um, sorry, I'm really tired. I've been up since I passed away. Uh, the game in there, and I really am looking forward to sticking this in to my new 3DS. So I'm chuffed to bits with that. And yeah, I felt a bit guilty buying it, I must admit, because I just haven't long purchased the XL, but gosh, I thought, must, while I've got the opportunity, while I'm in England, while I've got the money, I'm going to treat myself to the 3DS. So, yes, there she is, and I'm very, very happy with her, and hopefully I'll enjoy playing her. I find that when you're playing it, you have to kind of focus your eyes, your eyes to have a go into like a different like feeling when you're playing it and I hope that that's normal I haven't experienced headaches yet but like I say I haven't had time to play it I didn't play it on the plane because I was feeling so tired and I thought that won't be I'll be worried I'll get a headache and then I won't play it because I get headaches so she's back in the charging cradle there anyway um if you've got any comments to make on the games that I've shown, if you think they're absolute rubbish, if you too are enjoying them, if you especially like to hear from anybody else that's playing Time Hollow, do you think it's rubbish? Is it just me that likes this game? I don't know. And also, if you have Pilot Wings Resort and Nintendogs, what do you think of them? And have you been lucky enough to pick them up for £20? I found these in Game Station in Exeter. They've also got them for £20 in game in the UK. So keep your eyes open for them. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again.